Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Today I'll be stating my claim of fact, which is people are not aware that lack of sleep is a health hazard. So they, are, so they often sacrifice sleep. And my three supporting claims are stress can be caused by lack of sleep. And not only that, but memory loss is caused by not sleeping enough. And lastly, weight gain can also be attributed to loss of sleep. Lack of sleep causes stress due to blood pressure. Your blood pressure tends to get higher when you're stressed out. How does that work, you may ask? Well, when people are stressed out, their heart beats faster and it constricts the blood vessels to get more blood into the core of the body, which leads to high blood pressure. When stress wears off, the blood pressure goes down to its pre-stress level. In other words, it's called situational stress. On average, an adult should be getting eight hours of sleep every night to avoid any health problems. According to Dr. Nazario, a good night's sleep allows you to tackle the day's stress easier. When you are tired, you are less patient and easily agitated, which can increase stress. Most adults sleep about seven to eight hours of sleep per night. Practicing good sleep hygiene along with stress-lowering tactics can help improve your quality of sleep. A good night's sleep, which is about eight hours per night, eliminates problems. Stress is a health hazard because it causes people to have high blood pressure, which is very risky. Secondly, memory loss is caused by not sleeping enough. When you struggle to remember information, which come from depri deprivation of sleep, deprivation of sleep causes memory loss. According to Science Daily in Boston, a good night's sleep triggers changes in the brain that help to improve memory. According to a new study led by researchers at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, in Science Daily, there was a study of 12 college individuals that were taught a sequence of finger movements. After a 12-hour period of time, waking up or sleeping, they were, tested, they were tested on their ability to remember the finger movements. During the test, there was an MRI test tested to measure what is going on in the brain. According to Walker, one of the assistant professor at Harvard Medical School, the MRI showed that some areas of the brain were distinctly more active after a period of sleep. Other areas were noticeably less active. This is necessary to get enough sleep to avoid memory loss, which is a sleep hazard. Weight gain can also be attributed to loss of sleep. According to Kaiser Permanente, people, who, people with the lowest stress levels who also get more than six hours, but not more than eight hours of sleep, were most likely to lose at least 10 pounds. What they're trying to say is the less you sleep, the more weight you put on yourself. Those who sleep less often weigh more. Sleep regulates the hormones that affect the, and control your appetite. When, this, when there isn't enough sleep, hormones tend to get off balance. There was, a, there, there was a study at the University of Chicago in Illinois stating how the hormones leptin and ghrelin set the stage for overeating. In the study, there were 12 healthy men that were subjected to two days of not sleeping and two days of extended sleeping. The end result for this test was that leptin level went down while the ghrelin level went up. Not to mention, their appetite levels also went high. There was also about 1,000 volunteers that recorded their sleep hours. They slept each night, and the doctor measured the levels of ghrelin and leptin. The study was correct on how leptin goes down and ghrelin goes up, which causes weight gain. To, summar to summarize why people gain weight when lack of sleep occurs, is those who sleep less than eight hours a night not only have lower levels of leptin and higher levels of ghrelin, but they also have higher levels of body fat. The body fat correlates with the, with the sleep patterns. When you tend to gain weight, when you tend to gain weight because your body craves for unhealthy food, which makes you gain weight. If your goal is not to gain weight, then the best solution to avoid the health hazard problem is to sleep a decent amount about eight hours a night. In conclusion, my clear fact is people who are not aware that lack of sleep is a health hazard, so they Sorry. In conclusion, my kind of fact is people are not aware that lack of sleep is a health, health hazard, so they often sacrifice sleep. And my three supporting claims are it can cause stress, memory loss, and weight gain. And weight gain can be attributed. Just sleep eight hours a night to prevent these health problems. Thank you.
All right, I'm still not sold on the idea that there's a lot of controversy on this, but you do try and phrase a claim as a declarative. I, I think that uh, there's got to be some conditions that you show that people, for instance, are lacking that amount of sleep that's necessary, that this is a substantial problem, and then uh, maybe your argument will have more application. We'll see why it's a little bit more problematic. Secondary issues are nicely laid out. Everything is ex explained pretty clearly. I think that that's okay. Um, most of your uh, research is interesting. Some of it, I think, uh, jumps to conclusions pretty quickly. I do like the explanation on the third point that tries to explain the relationship between, uh, what are they, hormones and amino acids. I didn't catch it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are they hormones or are they amino acids? I didn't hormones. catch it. Hormones. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I, I thought that you explained that pretty well. Uh, the study, the original study with the 12 guys, that sounds a little thin, but there's a follow-up with a 1,000 people that are tested and they found a relationship. That's a lot more convincing, I think, on that particular point. Um, maybe rushing a little bit in the presentation and uh, some reading. And uh, there was some interesting bouncing that you were doing on the table. You know, like in the back and forth, you know, that kind of thing, bouncing yourself off the table. That's a little distracting. You don't want to do that. Okay, thank you.